yeah welcome back now um on this video we'll be talking about how to add um, video and audio into your html document and um, it's not actually too hard it's more very related to adding image to your um, html document and stuff like that so i would like us to just create a new page to add our email and our video instead of still using this page this page look quite busy or something like that so now uh, we need to create our new page probably click here and set new page um, rather say from the like, uh, video dot html we we'll save and we click it take us here and remember our html5 dot uh, so uh, I can video and audio as our title and we see if let's try to oh sorry this guy is inside this folder if you check it if i try to close this you see that it's not there anymore because it's inside here we need to bring it back so we take it outside like this i said move so it's take us back to this page so let's try to open in live server to open in this browser here you see it's blank there's nothing here so now what we're going to do is um, let's close this guy now what we want to do is let's try to create a particular folder where we have all our media probably we have video audio pdf pages and all so that in case we want to add them in the next class we know how to bring them out so let's click on a new folder and name is media so inside this media is where we have our video audio and other stuff like that so now how can we add video and audio inside an html file it's very simple uh, before then let's go and move the video and audio we'll be using for this practice inside this media folder so we are going to come into our file explorer and then um, we have kiss down a you here and video let's use this guy so let's copy here and copy this guy so probably let's copy this guy to copy and it's our web and let's go inside the media then we'll copy inside the media so we have Woju here, we have your covered solution. Let's rename this guy to probably solution that is the video and this guy names to is too big. Let us have you high here. That's it there. So let me check it now. So this image is in what and um, this is an audio is in what format? It is in MP3 format. This is done a Woju. You can just add Woju instead of adding the name so that it will be short we will not spend much time on this tutorial this would you is why and let's try to check the size it is and the format just the size and the format is dot mp3 and ui is going to be ui dot mp3 i have this guy that i just designed for i just use this to teach some guys graphics how to do some simple animations and is in form of video format like that so now let's go straight to the code and try to do the magic so when we go inside this folder now you see we have our solutions dot mp4 we have our ui dot mp4 we have our wg mp3 dot mp4 so let's try to add video first what is the tag for video the tag for video is video just come here and write video is going to end there there and you now ask for the source sorry you now ask for the source of the video uh, SRC is equals to where is the video so the video is in which folder you can just select instead of writing the code like media and which video do you want let's say too high and then um, what is the type like it what is the type of the file you want to have the source here you want to have a video slash the format of the video is what we go next I hope you understand what I mean uh -huh. you know um let me just explain you you know image as mp3 um image as can be in different format like jpeg image sorry this video image can be in jpeg can be in um, dot mp4 and uh, uh, sorry image can be dot grf it can be dot png it can be jpeg can be all this kind of format likewise video also has its own uh -huh. and what video has is mp4 most of the time and it has dot ogg and different kind of format of video and this video we are talking about is in mp4 format you can see dot mp4 so all we are going to write here we are going to write this guy is actually asking for the type of the video you are uploading 
so it's going to be video slash mp4 that is what we want to upload is video and the format is mp4 so when i close it like this and we save when we save we have our video here but if you notice this our particular video is too big for our screen probably just make the exact big screen like that and as you can see we don't want let's say we don't want this kind of screen is too big so what we are going to do is to add an attribute like we have been discussing before an attribute we come to this video and we had the width instead of height and width it's better to just write width so that the height will automatically correct itself towards the width so this is the width and we're going to add let's say 500 pixels and let's see you can see it's small and this guy is there and the video is not playing why is it not playing yeah there's a reason why it's not playing i will talk about it now and you know that most of the time when you, are, when you want to play a video there's usually this um, pause play this whatever there is there and the only thing we have in this video is the preview and this guy we want to take it into the large screen you see we want to bring it out that's what it has so how can we now add our pause play whatever into the video it's very simple inside the starting tag of the video all you just need to add is come here and add something <coughs> something called controls just a keyword controls that is all when you just save here it's going to be there you can see we have our pause we have our forward wherever here and we have our volume here and we have our timing and we have our this thing here then i want to put some landscape or whatever so let's try to play our video Wait, click here. hi in this video i'm going to show you the best way to start practicing apps and websites in figma yeah that is just the same tutorial on how to do with uix figma or something like that so that is how video works actually so our video you can still have another attribute a lot of attributes in fact you can see i have an attribute called uh, these are our normal types you can add um, let's see this sorry this is the ui tutorial video video and itself and we take our cursor you can see it's written there this is the ui tutorial video that is the title we are talking about it here so even when you go to youtube sometime when you take your cursor here you're going to bring all this kind of description just to know uh -huh, all this how, how it means and stuff like that so we have controls uh, that is what brings out this control what what's, what's if we have something called uh, muted i will save so the muted will automatically mute the volume the volume is not going to show at all it's just going to be like this when i click on this you see that it's not talking and that's muted it's just a keyword to control this particular video so muted or controls be there so let's just go back you can see the muted until you run on mute to saying designing apps and websites in that's where it starts muting. so on a default menu it should muted yeah and the the reason why me personally used to use this muted most of the time is probably i want to use a video as the background of my website or probably a slider or this slider that come in a website like uh, they'll be scrolling at the top of the website or this kind of slider probably i want to use a video for it i like using muted so that the video will not be bringing out voice when it's displaying at the background of the slider or the background of of a web page you understand what i mean by that so that's why that's the importance of using this method in most cases imagine this guy is is inside your um, slider and it's making noise so not making out sense so it could just be there and muted. yeah there's another one called um, autoplay let me remove this method since we don't need autoplay yeah this is here when we save here yeah the autoplay should automatically play as we move i don't know what's wrong with the guy here you can see you can see what they wrote here it said the video automatically begins to play back as soon as it come to do without um, stopping to finish loading or data that is it let me try to remove this control first and see probably it's automatically play and know uh, there's something wrong somewhere now and you can see even the browser access file to hit 
so it should work probably it's my browser or something i've been done here yeah so normally this is how i used to use it when i want to use it for um, image or when i want to use it for background and i want to use uh, um, for slider or whatever i just use autoplay and muted so whenever I you load the website it's going to start playing immediately you load the website uh, it's not going to hear any voice uh -huh. that's why so let's take our control back and uh, this is here so i hope you understand the video so that's how to add the video so we can see hard the it's almost the same thing to hard and audio and audio just have its own tag called audio you can see there and you still have to call the source normally you know so you have to call the source and src because to then you now go to probably what's the name of the folder media slash woju as kizania woju.mp for then i'm going is asking for the type as well what type of this thing are you uploading hmm? is an audio file like we did here the right video is a video file and slash what is the format of the video is mp3 so mp3 mostly means mpeg so write mpeg and you close it here and you save yeah you should bring out your stuff is you bring out the video um, tag for you oh yeah controls yeah so this is without these controls you don't bring out all this pause play wherever wherever so after that at the back of your mind so these are audio and this audio also has this whatever things so let's try to play so that you know what i'm talking about so that's so that is our video uh, that is our audio works just the same way as video you can even yeah mute it as well mute it save and yeah the control has to be the first controls save yeah you can see it's muted automatically this control will this stuff will not work without this control <laughs> this control brings all this control button that's what control means so muted means this audio will be muted in most cases i think <laughs> there's a necessity of using muted and autoplay also is in the audio it's supposed to play immediately as load it something like that's so that's so that's yeah that is it and sometimes when you see all these um when you're watching youtube video eh, and we get to the stage you saw an advert it's autoplay you don't have to click on play sometimes or something sometimes you might be browsing on your on your application it might show the google Ascent video ads that will just autoplay without you having a button to press play or whatever so that kind of video they will remove this control and they will write this autoplay so immediately you load the page or the uh, the adverts come up you just start playing you understand what i mean <laughs> so that is exactly how this thing works and like i said it can you can actually use uh, any attributes for this video like you said you know we have used um, title for the video and we are we have also used um we have also used what's it called um we have used title we have used um what have we even used? We have used eyes, yeah. We have used height and width. You can work, and this guy too. You can use, you can decide to use an height and width. Just you can say width, probably let's say sorry, it's cost you let's say 500 pictures. Shape. So, oh, it's actually not working. And there's a way I, I recite this using CSS actually. So, when you get there, you understand what I mean by that. Um, so, that is easy. The video is by side by side with this guy so that's how to add image and that's how to add video rather and that's how to add video so let's try to add image let's refresh our brain so just img src is equals to yeah so what further do you have the image we have is that img right slash then let's say we had a can be and let's add our feet directly and say with say 200 pictures and let's close it and see 
yeah that's it here we have yeah that's our image so these are image these are our audio and these are our video i hope it makes any sense yeah so this is our audio let's see let's try to add my key actually it's not necessary i'm just trying to prove to you that um so i'm just trying to prove to you that any tag can work with any tag everything is tag so that's what we call manipulation whatever you want to do you just have to think now okay i want to do this thing and this thing makes something true what if i want to make a video true oh let me write a video tag first they will now add the effect to the starting and the end so that you give this effect you can see our video is playing in fact, hi in this playing. video i'm going to show you the best see you can i can click on play on the video and it's and, 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 and it will still be playing and still be strolling for instance let me play. best way to start practicing designing apps and websites in figma you see that uh, uh, so that's how it's strolling it's strolling it's strolling it's strolling so it doesn't make sense <laughs> i just add that to just tell you so the same way you can add to any other thing here we have up here so yeah you can even add some other things like what do we have what do you have uh, to the image for okay let's say we had border yeah let's see we have let's see 10 let's see if yeah it's actually not okay but uh, it's actually not having you know why uh, probably the border is not working for this thing so whenever you have something in your head try to apply first if it's not working there probably that particular tag did not support it so you need to find an alternative for that particular thing to do so i hope you 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 enjoy this class and Whenever you have any question, you are, you are free to drop a comment below or a message on the WhatsApp group. Thank you very much for staying true. My name is Adi Gwakoi, the operation. Thank you.